Hi everyone, today I'm super excited to inform you that the long-awaiting Open PLC version 4 editor has finally been released. With this beta version, Autonomy has completely redesigned the original Open PLC editor into a standalone application, compatible with Mac OS, Windows, and Linux. In this video, we will have a quick overview of this lovely editor. Without much ado, let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, to get started, you go to Google and then you type in this search. I have provided it in the link below. Okay, you scroll down and then click on your OS that you want to install on. In my case, it's Windows. Okay, you observe the setup being downloaded. We have the setup here. I right click and then click on run. Or you can double click to start the setup. After installation, you have this beautiful interface. And currently, we can see we have the new project tab we have the open we have tutorial and then quit so i move straight and click on the new tutorial sorry on the new project type we have library and then we have the plc project i click on it and click on next i give it a project name and then i need to create a folder for it so i go to new create a new folder and then give it the project name as well. I need to mark it and then click on select folder. Okay, I click on next. Now we need to select a language. You can see we have ladder and then other language, but the FB is not ready yet, so it's inactive. Okay, so I select ladder and then I double click on this to open the timing. You can see that you can change the timing or the pulling sequence of the PLC, I select 20, leave it as such, click on create. We have this interface, and then within this interface, this is the section where we write our code. This is the section where we do our declaration of the variables. Okay, I add a new rank. You can see that with the new interface, we can add ranks, we add a next rank, and you can see that you can also reduce the rank or hide it so that you'll be able to concentrate on the rank within which you are coding okay at the top i drag down and then we can see we can add our variables i click on this plus sign and then i can now declare my variable right here perfect now this section is the library section where you have all the libraries and then this section we have the call and then i drag the call onto my working space and then we have a contact and you can see how easy you can drag calls and contact so I do a quick direct online circuitry and you can see how fast I was able to do that you can also change the position of contact or calls easily great this is the programming file and you have the main program file here and this section you can create a function FB which is functional block Okay, so let's do a quick example. I give it a function name, pause generator. So pause G, I select the language, ladder. And then we can see that it has given me this interface. I now create a rank and then create a variable for the function that I'm about to create. So I drag a timer here, which is the on delay timer. And then I look for off delay timer, drag it as well. And then I can add a quill, and then I can add a contact to as well. Pretty easy. Okay, I give it a variable name. So I have pause time, and this is going to be our time delay value. So it is going to be a time. I add another variable, and that is going to be the pause that will be generated, so the output of the timer. Or let's say the pause out this is going to be a boo 
So I select a bool for this. Great. Now I need to change them. This is going to be an input. And then this section is going to be an output. So I have to select output for it. And now all is set. I need to assign them to my code. So I assign timeout to this. Timeout as the output. And then I assign the timer. I give it a variable name timer1. And then timer f1 to as well. I now give it the names. I come back to the main program. And you can see you can switch between them easily. I go back to the main program again. Move to rank 2. And now you can call your function. So I search for the function. You can see it has been added to the library. So I drag and drop it. And this is all what I need to do. I now to need to specify my time delay for the pause generation. Or let's say for the blink. Okay. So I move in here. And then I type T hash. 1000 milliseconds. That is one second pause. And I'll give the output where I want to receive the pause generated. Okay, great. And now drag it down. And then assign variables also to this section of my project. So I add a new part. That is a start. I'll add a stop. stop and then I'll add an output and I'll name it pump okay great and I'll assign the pump to this section assign the stop and then assign the start and then the hold on which is going to be the pump okay let me give them physical sorry physical IOS so I say percent QX 0.0, .0 for the pulse out and then percent ix0.1 for my start and then 0 0.2 for my stop and then the pump output I'll make it 0 0.1 for the pump output great so you can see I can fold it up I can also fold this section and then unfold it too as well perfect interface we can see that I've been able to create my project easily with this new version I now compile by clicking on this to start the compilation and you can see that the compilation is done perfectly and then the file is generated into the folder or let's say my project folder great unfortunately it is not ready yet to be connected to any device to download but yes so you can make use of the file that has been generated you can send it to the runtime interface and run it but we'll not be doing that in this uh, tutorial you can try that and give feedback thank you all for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye